Good morning, everyone. I am so glad that you could join me again. Today, we are going to make a delicious tea time treat. But first, I want to show you the silver tea and coffee service that Mr. Fox gave me for a Christmas present. So this is Sheffield Sterling Silver from 1901. Coffee pot, teapot, cream pitcher or milk pitcher, sugar bowl, very large. And then these pieces I already had. They're both from the 19th century, a creamer and a little sugar cube bowl. Even though I already have two complete tea sets with the teapot and the cups and the saucers and the plates, the nice thing about having the silver service is that I can use any teacups or saucers I want. Everything does not have to match. The only downside is that you have to polish silver. And that is what we are going to do right now. Polishing silver is actually a very easy job. Personally, I think of it as a fun job. It's very relaxing and it's immediate gratification because once you've applied the silver cleaner, the silver shines up instantly. As I said, this set is from 1901. It was made in Sheffield, England. The handles are wood. And I have been wanting Sheffield silver for a very long time. So Mr. Fox very generously presented the set to me, as I said, for Christmas. Mr. Fox told me that he got a very good deal on this silver service. Antique silver may not be popular with everyone today, but I do love it. I'm going to rinse all of this silver in very hot water and then dry it really well. For our tea time treat today, I'm going to make some delicious orange cookies. But before we can make the cookies, I need to run over to Tierra Farm to buy some organic chocolate chips. I'm also going to buy some gorgeous orange spice tea. So please take a short drive with me. When we wake, hear the birds and see the sun Side by side our fears are done Oh, the good times just begun Oh, we know what we have, let's hold on tight Found what we're looking for in life Call us crazy
Earlier, I said that we were going to make orange cookies. I actually meant to say chocolate and orange cookies, and I think they are going to be fabulously delicious. And the first thing I need is one third cup or 80 grams of regular granulated sugar. I'm putting this into the bowl of my standing mixer, but you could use any large bowl if you are using handheld electric beaters. Then I need 80 grams, which is about a half cup, of firmly packed brown sugar. I'm using light brown sugar. Then I need the zest of one large orange. I love this microplane zester. Makes grating the rind of an orange very easy to do. Here's the zest. Then I like to rub the sugars and the orange zest together with my fingers, my impeccably clean fingers, until the sugars become very fragrant. The sugars and my fingers are now definitely fragrant. So I'm going to hook up my stand mixer. I'm using the paddle attachment. I will add a half cup or 113 grams of room temperature butter. Then I want to cream the butter and sugars together until the mixture is light and fluffy. Mixture is light and fluffy, so now I will beat in one large egg. And I need to scrape down the bowl and continue beating. Next, one teaspoon of pure vanilla extract and one teaspoon of orange extract. Oh, this has a glorious perfume. If you don't have orange extract and you are not willing to buy it, you can always use two teaspoons of vanilla extract. Wet ingredients are mixed, so we have to deal with the dry. I have one and a half cups or 195 grams of regular all-purpose or plain flour here in a medium bowl. And to the flour, I want to add a quarter teaspoon of baking soda and a half teaspoon of salt and whisk. With the mixer running at low speed, I'm going to gradually add the flour mixture to the wet ingredients. Now I need to add one cup or 160 grams of chocolate chips. You could use bittersweet chocolate chips, semi-sweet chocolate chips, or even milk chocolate chips. I'm using these organic dark chocolate chips that you and I bought together earlier today at Tierra Farm. They are my favorite chocolate chips. You just fold the chips into the cookie dough. So these are actually very simple cookies to make. So my oven has preheated to 350 degrees Fahrenheit or 180 degrees Celsius. I'm going to use my little cookie scoop to form my cookies. The scoop equals about a rounded teaspoon. I can link the set of cookie scoops that I purchased from Amazon in the description below.
I'm trying to make small cookies because I want them to fit on the top tier of my three-tiered stand. What I like to do is gently flatten each cookie and then I refrigerate them for, oh, 10 to 15 minutes before baking. And I'm not going to bake all of the cookies today. What do I have here? 12. I will form the remaining dough into cookies. And I will put those cookies in the freezer so I can bake them at some future date. When you have unexpected guests for coffee or tea, it's great to know that you have some sweet treat ready to go in the freezer. I am spacing the cookies intended for the freezer rather closely together because once they are solidly frozen, I will transfer them to Ziploc bags. I will pop this tray into the refrigerator for 10 to 15 minutes and I will put this tray in the freezer. My cookies are nicely chilled. I'm going to pop them into the oven now. It's 12 minutes for soft cookies, 15 minutes for crisp. smell these cookies. The scent of chocolate and orange together is, well, it's a match made in heaven. I'm going to let the cookies cool on the baking tray for about five minutes, and then I will transfer them to a wire rack to cool completely. Now I am putting together some simple tea sandwiches. The filling is chicken and cranberry on buttered pan de mie. I can link the recipe for the pan de mie bread in the description below. My cookies are made, my sandwiches are made, I have some scones that I'm going to bring out later. Let's go light a fire in the parlor. sandwiches and here are some leftover scones that you and I made the other day and I froze the extras. They go on the middle tier and then I have some strawberry jam put right here with a spoon. I do not have any clotted cream on hand but I do have mascarpone, which has a very similar texture to clotted cream and a delicious taste. And a spoon for the mascarpone. And finally, the cookies. And I will admit that I did taste of one cookie. And, well, we will talk about it later. Let's just say that I could fill this entire three-tiered stand with nothing but these orange chocolate cookies. I was going to use my Moonlight Rose teapot since it goes with my three-tiered stand, but since I polished it, today I'm going to use the Sheffield Silver teapot. And the tea is orange spice that you and I bought together at Tierra Farm. I have already warmed this teapot.
Do you remember the Nicaraguan coffee that we bought at Tierra Farm this morning? This is my favorite coffee. Tierra Farm reached out to me after our visit today and asked if I wanted to put together a Kevin Lee Jacobs Valentine's box. And I said, why not? So I selected three of my favorite things. And here it is. The organic dark chocolate chips that we use for these cookies. The orange spice tea. And by the way, Tierra Farm has the best teas. And the Nicaraguan coffee. This would make a very nice Valentine's gift for yourself or for someone you love. I will link this box in the description below. And I will also provide a free shipping code so that you can have free shipping if you order this gift box. Let's head into the parlor. A freezing cold day, a warm fire, afternoon tea. I'd say life is pretty good. A sip of tea. I love Earl Grey tea. I love Darjeeling tea. And now I am madly in love with this orange spice tea. It's perfect for a winter day. I already know that the sandwiches and the scones are wonderful. So let's dive right into the star of this afternoon tea, the orange chocolate cookies. These cookies were just an experiment today, but I have to tell you, I have never had a better cookie in my life. They have the right balance of chocolate and orange, the right amount of sweetness. Ah, they're truly incredible. Earlier, I mentioned that the recipe for these cookies would be linked on the Tierra Farm website. I will also link the recipe in the description below. Thank you so much for joining me today. I really appreciate your company. I can link a couple of my other videos up here or up here that you can watch between now and my next upload. In the meantime, please treat yourself well. Please try these cookies. Please check out the gift box from Tierra Farm. And I will see you in the next episode. Bye for now. Mm -hmm.